That's Mr. Tanner from Family Martial Arts. I'm here with the fourth and final video of the fourth and final video of the Vance kicking combination. Um, this one's got some trickier kicks and some that you, you people haven't seen before, but uh, well, some of the students haven't seen before. I'm not saying people in general haven't seen it. Just anyway, uh, first kick, scissor turning. We've done this in a previous video. It comes up like a normal scissor kick. Is how you practice it. So the chamber will come up. And then you, you click here, and then you work on a double front kick. So you go one, two, and then you're gonna add, make this kick a turning kick. So if I went one, and I turn over, and I go for my turning kick. Now if I do it all in one, I go one, two, and then back down again. So that'll be my scissor turning kick. Now onto the next kick, which is a reverse turning kick. Um, this one's a tricky, uh, tricky kick to get um, for a lot of people because it's just understanding how it's done and making it look right. Now a normal turning kick, you'll pivot, bring, uh, bring the, the knee into the target, and then, and then flick, or if you do it on the lead leg, the chamber comes up, pivot and flick. Okay? But reverse turning, instead of hitting this side of the leg, you hit with the back side of the leg. So I'm not hitting with the heel as such, because that's more a hook kick. And if I hit the target with my heel, because um, the leg is pretty much straight when it hits the target, it puts a ridiculous amount of pressure on your knee. And you can have an injury. So this is why you hit with a calf or the back of the leg so you're quite close to using it but it can throw people off balance. It's a really good kick to use when you can get it right. So the back leg comes up, I turn backwards, I extend it just off target, boom, and I have this little back action. So it goes out, back, and then and then down and I'm hitting with this part of the leg. So the reverse turning. Okay. After the reverse turning, we're going to bring this back leg forwards, hop, and then do a front kick. So if my, I've done the reverse turning on this one, this leg comes up, I go boom. And then I keep the leg up because it's going to lead on to the next one, which is a hop with an axe kick. So um, I go reverse turning, then you go one, and then keep the chamber, two, foot goes down this time. Now, from this position, you're going to lift up that leg, throw a turning kick, and try and keep the leg up, because it's going to lead on to the last one, which is the spinning heel kick, which is, which is the hardest one. Okay, so, uh, you know, scissors, boom, boom, uh, you've done your reverse turning, boom, you do your skip with the front kick, boom, axe kick, boom, and then this back leg comes, or well, front leg, sorry, comes up with a turning kick. And keep the leg up. Now, last kick is a spinning heel kick. Um, it's a hard one to do. You're gonna take off because this leg is in the in the air already. So you've got to jump with this leg and hit with it. Uh, so if I went to do it in, in chunks and try to do it slow motion, I've got to put my foot down. So I've done a turning kick. This comes down. This is coming up, and then it comes chops down. This way, so you can have them chopping around like this, but this one's easier. So, uh, if I do slow motion, boom, technically I'm slow, still slow to do in the air as I pivot around, and then I'm chopping this down, and that will be my spinning heel kick. So without the turning kick, I've got the leg up um, from, from here, and then I come around and chop it. So then if I do it with the turning kick, I go one, two, and then that one, chops back down from a spinning heel kick. So let's see if we can put them all together, need more space, raise the volume, and uh, I'm in this position, scissor turning, boom, boom, and I'll go for my reverse turning, boom, and I place the foot down, and I go front kick, boom, ass kick, boom, lift up the leg, turn and kick, spin the heel kick, and down, all right? That is advanced kick combination number four. Technically, you should be able to go from one, two, three, and four. Each combination leads on to the next one um, as a massive combination, but it, you need a lot of space to do it unless you're doing it on the spot. Uh, let us know how you get on in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.